welcome to Venture Wrench. You're welcome to log in as a guest or to create an account to save your preferences. I'm going to log in here and it will take you to the Venture Wrench library. The library is a curated set of resources. It includes over 3,500 resources that have been carefully selected using machine learning and natural language processing to help you. It's grouped in 90 subtopics, 20 main topics, and you can see here are eight action areas. Getting started, so for those who are just um, getting started with their businesses, we have strategies on how to get angel and venture capital, business model canvas and lean startup information, federal and state resources, self-funding strategies, and also information generally on working with investors. For those companies that are up and running, we have product and service development information, we have information on getting customers, information on leading your business for entrepreneurs who are developing their own leadership capabilities, as well as things like accounting, finance, and taxes, which everyone does not enjoy, but we all have to deal with, and human resources and personnel management. As companies grow, they need to deal with infrastructure and operations, so including manufacturing and logistics, real estate, tech infrastructure, and we have resources in all of those categories. We want to help you stay out of trouble, so legal risk management and insurance and regulatory information are also included here. And then for entrepreneurs who are going to plan their exit, we have information on that as well as some general um, aggregator information um, as our last category. We want to help you create a great enduring business and the getting the action areas and all of our topics and subtopics are intended to help you identify what else you want to work on or need to work on on your business. Now the system can be nicely customized and I'm just going to show you a few of those features. Over here in the menu we can select our business location and this will tell the system to provide you with local and regional resources that are relevant to your business. Also, what kind of company is your business? And so if you want to um, kind of narrow in, you can say, for example, that you're, it's a business-to-business -business or a technology-based product or service. I won't do that because I don't want to narrow it down. It asks you about international sales. So that, again, if you are not interested in international, then some of those, inf those resources will not be shown. Also, government sales. And I like to see all of the resources, but if you want to just see the very best we have in the system, you can also just select best. And here are tabs to who are we and our learning and our legal and other key um, things you might need. So I've configured some customization here, and we'll just take a look at Angel and Venture Capital Startup. For example, looking at Angel Funding, and we see here both um, uh, national resources uh, and we will also see as we go through some uh, Utah specific resources as they are available. Some of these you can see that I have looked at before. Um, so, so here we go, for example, the state of venture capital in Utah. Utah has arrived. These are Utah specific. And if you were, say, in Connecticut or North Dakota, you would not see those. You would see resources applicable to your state or your location. And these are resources that um, have been vetted, uh, we classify them, we qualify them, we look for quality resources that are helpful to you as an entrepreneur. Now, you can also customize um, areas of interest that you have. For example, if you are only interested in resources, uh, for example, from, um, from a nonprofit organization, you can collect the uh, Excuse me, you can select that and you can see that the list updates so that you are, um, it's more specific um, who the source of the information is if you're looking for a certain type of information. And you can also select if you, let's say you only want blogs or you only want a book, you really want to go in depth on something and you want to see if there are any books on the topic and we can do this live, we can see. And um, there's just, there's one book here that's actually um, about some early days of a number of companies that are now very large, but talks a lot about how angel and venture capital work. And so I will go back and just look at one other category to give a feel for one of our operational categories. Uh, for example, marketing, advertising, and promotion. And you can see we have many, many subcategories because it's a very complex, uh, a very complex area. But for the marketing basics topic um, to help. Uh, as you come up to speed on marketing, if marketing isn't your experience, and you can again see lots of 
information and competitive analysis and strategy and um, Google Analytics and just good basic information to help the entrepreneur who is emerging. We hope that you find the Venture Inch Library helpful to you. We also note, for example, that there are topics that are quite unusual um, but that entrepreneurs tell us have been very, very helpful. There's certainly information on taxes and accounting, for example. You can see our procurement, we have a section on government procurement and corporate procurement. So large corporations often have procurement systems that can be helpful, uh, that helpful to understand how those work and, um, and useful to as you come up to speed. We have information on regulatory, and a lot of entrepreneurs get tripped up by regulatory issues. And then, of course, how to leverage the, the legal community to help you. And we have here a whole set of um, legal-specific topics for example, um, that can um, help you frame what you need for your business. So um, welcome you to the Venture Ranch Library and hope that you're able to quickly find the resources that you need. Mm -hmm.